Well, Drive On Mama and Papa's too. Andrea TV here from driveonmama.com coming to you on Wednesday, March 30th of 2022. Just dropped off the kitty kids. It is 9 a.m. on the dot and we just accepted our first order. It is on Uber Eats, $17.04 going for a total of 5.6 miles and it is a batched order, two deliveries, one pickup and we are on our way to a great day. Okay, 918, traffic is crazy. Just picked up our two meals. Martin is getting bacon and eggs, scrambled eggs, with buttermilk pancakes and powdered sugar. And for Brianna, we have a Western omelet with cheddar, white toast, shredded hash browns, and bacon. Let's go bring them their meal. Time is now 9.49 a.m. Just accepted our next offer. We're going to Bethesda Bagels for $6.39 for a total of 1.9 miles. Let's get it. Okay, we have Eric's meal. He is getting sausage, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel, toasted with pepper jack cheese and hot peppers, and a Nova and cream cheese sandwich. An egg sandwich bagel toasted with chive and capers. Let's go bring them their food. Time is currently 10.23 a.m. Just accepted our next offer on Instacart. It is for $14.40, I believe, and we are going to CVS to get three essential or not so essential items. Let's go. While we were doing our Instacart at CVS, received a DoorDash going to Bradley Food and Beverage, $6.25, total of 1.4 miles. Let's go get this too. Okay, we have Ray's meal. Ray is going to be getting an early lunch today for him and his coworkers or him and his loved ones at home. A chicken salad sandwich with Havarti cheese on a croissant with onions, lettuce, and banana peppers. A smoked turkey on wheat with provolone, mayo, lettuce, and tomato. And a shrimp salad on a croissant with lettuce and provolone. Let's bring them their meal. Okay, 1050, DoorDash is dropped off. Ray was a security guard at a high school, but he still got his meal. Let's go deliver the essentials. Okay, our Instacart is dropped off, 11 o'clock on the dot, and she did need essentials. It was two different types of Band-Aid packages and some nail glue. I have had a nail break and it go past the um, nail bed and deep into the flesh and that thing hurts. I wish her all the best. And now we're waiting for our next offer. Okay, it is now 11.03 a.m. We have accepted our next offer on Instacart. It is a three shop order going a distance of 8.6 miles for $51.19. And we're off. This is going to take a while. I have cut off the other two apps and we'll just be Instacarting it. Time is now 1.31. Just got in the car with the three orders in the car with me. And I don't think it was worth it. 50 whatever dollars it's gonna end up being. It is annoying and frustrating. And I might have gotten a little less doing just food deliveries and short DoorDash type shops. But I forgot you don't do three orders. The first order that I rung up, they had a 24 roll of toilet paper. And I told the cashier I have three orders, three separate orders. I'm still putting things on the belt and they ask you to swipe the go past this light it helps with their numbers or what have you and I said the toilet paper belongs to part of that one. Oh, I'm sorry I am NOT purchasing $25 worth of toilet paper for someone else I have done it in the past when I first started Instacart and at the light you want to know why you cannot run the car twice. If you're gonna do Instacart, make sure everything is together because they will only approve one purchase per customer. There's no add-ons that you can add on. You know what will happen? You will call support and then they will tell you, can you um, pay out of your pocket and send us the receipt and we'll send you the money? And then you have a project and then you're running after your money. And then it's gonna take mm, a week or two. Yeah, so. In two miles. For customer C, three third one I feel very bad because I'm sure it's needed but um I'm not gonna do that so we are just starting to deliver 1 32 p.m. and I will come back and let you know once I drop off the last one and if it was worth it. just coming back to add on when he realized his mistake and he offered 
suggestions to fix it. And based on my experience, I told him those things wouldn't work. He called his manager over and I explained the situation to her. And then he looked at her and said, sorry. She said, don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. How are they comfortable with um, essentially messing with their customers' purchases and the experience and other people's livelihood? That happens to me all the time. I said I have three orders. There's only one order on the belt and one item sitting there. That item belongs with the first order. I'm so sorry. I just know if you're down to your last toilet paper, you really need that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. 2.18 p.m., done with all orders. Was that worth it? No. The third order, the third drop off was to an assisted living facility where you have to sign in. Not sign in with a book. You have to go to the computer, put in your cell phone number, your first and last name, answer two screens worth of questions regarding you know what and your health, make up a temperature, say that you took it unless you had a doctor take it, and then they'll print you out a badge for you to be able to go upstairs to deliver. The kicker is I delivered to this facility last summer when I first started Instacart and decided I wasn't gonna do Instacart because that was a Costco order where it was tons of cheese. I'm talking over the GPS, sorry about that. Tons of cheese. And the order was about $150 and it was meet the customer. And at that time, that was like one of my first Instacarts. It's like meet the customer, I just leave stuff at your door. So I left it at the door and I called down, not called, the front desk person. I said, um, I left it at the door and knocked, but they didn't open it because I like to hear that they're getting it just for my own benefit and protection. She called up to the apartment and they didn't answer. I said, well, I want them to know because it's cheese and yogurt and stuff. I don't want it to spoil. It was summertime and it was cases of water along with the cheese and yogurt. She called twice, no one answered. Then I get a message like that night saying a customer reported they didn't get their food. And if this happens again or if this continues, you know, some type of, you could be banned from the platform. I was like, are you kidding me? I carried heavy water and cheeses up to your apartment. This is before they had all of the additional restrictions before you can go up. Um, was sweating like a pig because it was like 90 degrees and you're telling me you didn't get it? So I remember the lady, I remember the facility because I wouldn't forget that. I don't know if it's the same exact person because the apartment number, the, you know, every floor looks the same and there's multiple of them. But yeah, not worth it. But I'll just know for the future, two is fine. Again, three, a no bueno. Oh, and just to let you know, it said meet the customer, I knocked on the door. I told them there was a problem with ringing up the toilet paper. They couldn't ring it. They didn't ring it. And you weren't charged for it, but there's no toilet paper, sorry. I handed it to the um, nurse aide and the customer was in the back. So I don't even know, that might've been, you know, like a worker that did that last summer, if it was that apartment, I don't remember the name but I did meet the customer and I took pictures of it before I knocked on the door as a backup as well. Cover your tail. Time is currently 2.32 p.m. Just accepted our next offer on Uber Eats. We are going to a sushi place, $9.50 for 2.9 miles and we're on our way. Okay, the restaurant is called Satsuma and we are going to get our customer Shaki two unagi, which is eel pieces, and two pieces of salmon for his meal or her meal I can't tell let's go get it I always wondered how people get full off of this little bit of sushi but this is a good tipper look at that it's only $16 paid but I'm getting nine dollars and three cents on uber eats okay just dropped off and Shaka was a girl and that wasn't all she was eating she said she was in her car in the parking lot she's at work and I saw on the dashboard 
whatever noodles or whatever it was she was eating, um, empty container on the dash. So she just needed her protein. I guess she wasn't satisfied. <laughs> but before we got here, accepted our next offer on DoorDash, $7.25, three miles in total. We are going to Clyde's Restaurant. Let's get it. Okay, we have arrived at Clyde's, and Clyde is getting fried chicken wings buffalo style, a bacon cheeseburger medium rare with cheddar and french fries, and key lime pie. What a meal. Let's get it. Okay, I'm still in Clyde's. The food was not ready. They said it'll be a few minutes. Hopefully it will be. But I just realized something. The Instacart, that third order, the toilet paper, that was like half of the total. So with Instacart, your tip is based on the cost of the purchase. The purchase itself, if it gets reduced, then your tip is reduced. So instead of my tip being $10 and change for customer C, it's $5.57. They cost me money and a dissatisfied customer. I will be careful and extra sure next time and use my pain so you don't have to go through it. <laughs> well, that was a little wait. It is now 3.11 p.m. We have Carl's order and we're on our way to drop off. They are seven minutes, 1.6 miles away. As I got in the car, received most likely my last order before time to get the kitty kids. $23.55 for an 11.6 mile batched order on Uber Eats. And the first customer is at Kyle's. I went back in, I was like, by any chance that bag on the table is that for, um, you know, so-and-so? It's like, oh no, I was on the phone with her when you came in. It's gonna be a while for her. I said, okay, I'll go and drop off this customer's first meal and then come back for her meal. I don't know what it is yet. 35 mile per Then we'll have a second pickup, excuse me for the, the GPS, and then we should be done. Pickup time is 420 in Bethesda. This batched order is gonna leave me in Rockville, but I still should have plenty of time to get there. It is 320. 323 just dropped off and we're on our way back to Clyde's and now I'm debating whether or not I am going to keep that order. Pickup time is 420, 11 miles. Rockville, it should go smoothly with no issues and I should be able to get there by 420. If not, they're with each other and I'm not worried about their safety, but I don't like to be late because then we have practices. So we'll see. Okay, we have our second Clyde's offer in the car. Our customer is getting grilled chicken with ancient grains. Sounds delicious. They must give very big portions. That bag was kind of heavy and she only ordered one meal. But now we're on our way to our second pickup, the Thai Kitchen. It's about 1.2 miles from Claude's, Clyde's, Clyde's. <laughs> And it's 3.37 p.m. Let's go. Okay, we have arrived at the Thai kitchen. And this customer, their meal will be choo-choo fried rice, curry puff, Thai spring roll, and pad thai. Let's get it. Well, we had to call for backup. It is 4.09 p.m. Just dropped off the first customer's order. That was a Thai pad order. He's in Rockville also, but on the other side of Rockville. The Clyde's customer is still 6.9 miles away from the first customer. And at this rush hour traffic, uh, 12 minutes. So the GPS says I will get to the second customer at 420 when the boys get off the bus in Silver Spring. So, had to call the hubby and he's going to get them. And then I'll do the pickups from the practices rather than the dropping offs at the practices. I will come back with my totals after the one hour has passed and we see what the tips are. Okay, since I already missed pickup and I have to drive the 20-ish miles home, turned or kept on Uber Eats and picked up an order going to Burtonsville, 16 miles, $17.80. We're going to Ken M. Thai and now customer's meal will be two drunken noodles, extra spicy beef for those who've had a too many few beers. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. It's 
5.22 p.m. That is right, 5.22 p.m. There was an accident on Goody Drive, which leads to the highway to get to Burtonsville. And um, I was stuck sitting behind cars. And the customers definitely do watch you. When I came and I got here, he was already, but the door cracked. And instead of handing it to him, you know, leave at the door, I did hand it to him. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, it was an accident on Goody Drive. He said, we saw that, we saw that. So yeah, you are, um, you are on camera live as soon as you accept that order. So I'm gonna have to rethink my dirty multi-apping considerably. Okay, so I might as well close out this video now. I am now two miles away from home, six minutes. So I really was gonna be stuck in that accident traffic anyway, but I made $17.80 to go home. And since it's taken this long, I did get these final tips from the um, batched order for that $17.80. And what did I? Okay, time is currently 6.44 p.m. We are at football practice, and I just wanted to come back to give you my totals for the day. We logged in at 9 a.m. and essentially worked all day thanks to that traffic accident and being late on the last um, batched order. So for Uber Eats, that last customer did increase their tip because I was stuck in the traffic jam, and I guess they felt bad or... Like the little sticker that I put on, you can find the stickers below. The, th the stickers say, thank you for your order. I appreciate you, your delivery driver, Andrea. So for Uber Eats, the total came to $81.56. For DoorDash, it was $13.75. And for Instacart, it was $65.68 for the grand total of $160.99. I will have the screenshots after this. And drive on, my